Hello everybody, Terry Terry back again with another video. Oh boy, oh boy, we have a big, big final tomorrow ahead of us. Uh, and of course, the final I'm talking about is the French Open final 2021. We had 128 players in the draw. Now we are only having two left men standing. And those two left men standing, we all of course know who they are by now. Novak Djokovic versus uh, Stefano Tsitsipas. Uh, this final was not quite that final that many predicted. Many predicted Tsitsipas will go to the final from the bottom section of the draw. Uh, I was one of them who thought that he will survive the bottom section of the draw on the bottom... Uh, 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 the, uh, that he will survive the bottom section of the draw. Uh, when I did my preview French Open uh, two weeks ago, uh, but the opponent that they will face was not many who actually predicted. Um, many pre many thought that Tsitsipas would face uh, Rafael Nadal in the final, but uh, that is not the case. It is Novak Djokovic, after Djokovic doing on a marvelous, uh, breathtaking semi-final yesterday. My dear God, what a match, what a thriller. I don't know if I've ever seen Djokovic play yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen Djokovic play this kind of clay court tennis, to be quite honest with you. Maybe the only time I've seen him play this good clay court tennis in French Open, uh, at, it has to be the, against the same player, Nadal, in 2015, when he it, when it took down Rafa in, in straight sets in that 2015 quarterfinal. But maybe that is the only match that I've seen Djokovic play better. But this, this one to, uh, yesterday... Well, it's not far away, my tennis friends all around the world. So Djokovic, he is liking his chances on Sunday, but this is a big match, big stakes, or it is a big match where it is big things are or in the on stake for Novak Djokovic. Big things are on stake for Novak. I believe Novak will feel the pressure. He will be nervous tomorrow against Stefano Titipas. And Titipas, who has who is in shape of his life, we have to be honest. Uh, who has he has improved a lot as a tennis player. He's, he has improved his uh, backhand. He has improved his for, uh, his uh, returns, which used to be his. Uh, Achilles heels in his arsenal in the past. They still are. That they still are not his weapons. The back and the returns. His weapons, of course, are the are the serve and forehand, especially the forehand. He has one of top five best forehands in the world, in my opinion. Uh, he will also like his chances. He, 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 I said it yesterday. He, Stefano Tsitsipas, he loved that Novak won. Because if he had a choice to choose between Novak and Rafa, he would choose Novak seven days in the week. Because he knows Novak, he has not won French Open 13 times. He knows that Novak, he has lost French Open finals before. He, uh, three against Nadal, one against Stan Wawrinka. So, uh, uh, Stefano Tsitsipas, he, he was happy that Novak won. He would not be that happy if Rafa would have won yesterday. I am I am completely convinced about that. So, but he knows Stefan Tsitsipas knows that it will not be easy on Sunday. He knows that he will he needs to do one of his best matches of, of his life to be the winner on Sunday. So uh, the head to head is five two to Novak Djokovic. Uh, they have faced each other three times on clay, if I'm not mistaken, and Novak has won all of those three battles. L uh, last time they faced on. Uh, was in that uh, uh, Rome quarterfinal where Novak won his, his three tough sets. After losing the first one, he won the second 7-5 and won the third 7-5. Actually, Ste Stefan Tsitsipas was serving for the for 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 that match uh, against Novak Djokovic, uh, but uh, Novak the superior player that he is, he comes back and wins that match against Tsitsipas. But Tsitsipas was not far away of defeating Novak Djokovic in that Rome quarterfinal. And if you look, the only meeting they have had in slams, they have actually faced each other only one time in slams, that was last year in this event, French Open semi-final. It was a five-set epic battle, uh, which Novak Djokovic won in the end. After winning the first two sets, uh, 
and then uh, uh, Tsitsipas came back, won the third and fourth, and then in the fifth set, Novak won 6 1. But uh, Stefano Tsitsipas had some kind of physical uh, issues in that fifth set, he was not doing himself justice. So, uh, he was not healthy in the fifth set. I remember that semi final match in Franciopo last year, he had some kind of problem with his health, he couldn't move good. And he lost that fifth set in French Open semi-final last year, six-one. So how will the, how will how will this final go tomorrow? Look, Novak is playing his 29th Grand Slam final, so he's obviously a more a more experienced player than Stefan Tsitsipas. His 29th Grand Slam final, that is a lot, man. His sixth French Open final in total. Tsitsipas. He's playing his only first ever Grand Slam final, so he also will be nervous. I he I'm pretty convinced about Tsitsipas. Both will be nervous. I'm 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 completely convinced about that both players will be nervous tomorrow. Both Djokovic, I don't care that Djokovic is a super experienced player and has been on the tour over 15 years and he's playing his 29th Grand Slam final. Uh, and Tsitsipas will be nervous because he's playing his first ever Grand Slam final. Uh, not many players win their first ever Grand Slam final that they play. Uh, not many. Uh, we know that Federer has done it, Nadal has done it, Djokovic has done it, but these three, uh, they are one of, they are the greatest, these three are the greatest three players in the tennis history. That's why we call them for the GOATs. So, but uh, we have uh, some other players who also has won their first ever major final, uh, who are not GOATs, like one I remember at the top of my mind is Del Potro, who won his first ever and only major final back in 2009 when he defeated Nadal and Federer back-to-back -back match, a semi-final Nadal and Federer final. So Tsitsipas for sure can win his first ever Grand Slam final. It would, I would not be shocked. But it, 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 is, it, it, it is not easy, that's for sure. We, uh, you, will, you will feel the pressure. You will feel the pressure. Just ask Zverev, ask uh, team uh, who, has, who all... They, they have lost their first ever Grand Slam finals when they have played Zverev team and also uh, Andy Murray. But Vavrika, he won his first ever major final, so it is not impossible. Uh, so Tsitsipas has a chance to be like Vavrika, to be like Del Potro, two of players that I'm uh, coming up in top of my mind that has won their first ever Grand Slam finals. But Tsitsipas have a Mount Everest mountain to climb. That's for sure. He needs to climb a Mount Everest mountain, guys, to be to beat Djokovic on Sunday. Djokovic, he will be nervous because it's, it is big stake here. It is a big stake match here. He this match will be his biggest match of his life. I am completely convinced about that. I truly believe that. Man, my dear God, what a big match this is for Djokovic. This is his biggest match of his life. He can be the, all, the only third player to win all the four majors twice. Although only two other players has done it in, in the past is Roy Emerson and Rod Leib. He knows that his top two chief rivals, Nadal and Federer, will never win all of these four majors twice. Nadal will never win Asol Open again because Nadal has won Asol Open only once. Uh, and Federer will never win French Open again. Because we all know that Fed also has won French Open only once. So, and Djokovic has the chance now to... He has won all the Masters twice. Now he can win all the Majors twice. That is huge, man. That is huge. This is a big, big match for Novak Djokovic. It is his biggest match in his career. I'm completely convinced about that. So Djokovic will know this. He knows this. His fans know this. His team knows this. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. And for reason of that, he will be nervous. He will be nervous. He's human. Even though it doesn't look that even though it doesn't always look that way on, on a tennis court when he plays, is because he's such superior tennis player Novak Djokovic, but he is human, just like you and me, so he will feel the pressure. So and historically Novak Djokovic he has had a lot of lo losses against one single-handed backhands at French Open. 
six, if I'm if I remember correctly, six losses he has had against one single-handed backhands at French Open. Two against Dominic Thiem in 2017 and 2019. One against Roger Federer in 2011. Three, uh, one against Stan Wawrinka in 2015. Four, one against Cecinato in 2018. Five, and one also a very long time ago, 12 years ago, against Philip Koschreiber back in 2009 in the second round. Uh, he also lost against him, I remember. So he has lost six French Open matches, or Novak Djokovic, against one single-handed backhands. So, uh, and now we'll, he will face uh, one single-handed backhand player on Sunday. So Djokovic needs to be really careful because these one single handed backhands they they have the ability to really hurt him. But I remember I remember the losses he has had against Team and Vavrika uh, and against Feder. That one against Korshaw but twelve years ago I don't remember much. And Djokovic was not a beast back then, even though he was a Grand Slam champion already, a one time Grand Slam champion in that Korshaw loss he had in two thousand nine. But he was not the same player. Let's face it. Djokovic before 2011 was a different player and Djokovic became a beast from 2011 and forward. Against Federer in 2011, Federer did one of his best ever matches on clay and Djokovic would not. Djokovic was in a long winning streak, 43 or 44 winning streak and Djokovic and Federer stopped him. But and that was one of the best matches that I've seen Federer do on clay. But Djokovic also was not superior in that match. Many people forget that Djokovic did a lot of unforced errors. Uh, Federer took a two sets love two a two sets to love lead. Uh, I remember if I'm not, if I'm not uh, mistaken then Fed, Djokovic won the third. Djokovic wake, he woke up too late in that match and then in the fourth Federer took him in a, in a tie break. Federer was really good, really good in that semi-final to the level, but Fe Djokovic was not superior. Trust me, guys, if you don't believe me, go watch that match. Djokovic was good, but not superior. Not superior. He did a lot of offers there, so he was giving Federer a lot of uh, free points and a lot of gifts in that match. And that in the 2015 match against Vavrinka in, the two, in, in, in that fashionable final where Djokovic also the same way like he has done now, defeated Nadal on the way in the quarterfinal, that lost against Vavrinka in the final. Djokovic did a great first set and played superb first set. But in the second, third and fourth set, Djokovic went in the goalkeeper mode and tried to wait for Vavrinka to miss and to tried to win that match by Wawrinka out-hitting himself. Which never happened. Wawrinka was in the shot-maker mode in that final and did a lot of winners and was penetrating Novak and was punishing Novak with his down-the-line backhands. And Wawrinka was really so good in that second, third and fourth set. But Novak also made Wawrinka good because Novak went in that goalkeeper mode and was passive. And lost that French Open final 2015 because he was passive in the second, third, and fourth set. Combined with Wawrinka, did one of his best matches of his life. But Djokovic also helped him to do one of his best matches of his life by being a goalkeeper in the second, third, and fourth set. Djokovic lost that uh, uh, French Open final 2015 of that reason. And then against uh, 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 team 2017, I believe quarter final, he lost his straight set. He did a flat match. Uh, and team was uh, one of the best clay court players in the world uh, uh, back then uh, in 2017. So and Djokovic was uh, he did he had a pretty bad year that that year 2017 if I'm not mistaken he didn't win one single Grand Slam title in that year 2017. Uh, Novak Djokovic and then in 2018 against Cicinato, he just came back from uh, from uh, surgery and he he was not in his shape of his life and Cicinato, uh was topped him in that quarterfinal in four sets uh, with uh, really great shot making skills. One in four sets. And then it was a 19, he lost a tough battle against team in the semi final after both players uh, was playing good tennis the four sets. Uh, and that match, of course, could have gone either way. But again, in that fifth set, Djokovic went in that. Uh, goalkeeper mode, which it does. When matches gets close, he gets 
careful. He goes into that goalkeeper mode and he just tries to defend and he tries to squeeze up for status from his opponent. He gets passive. He he and he got passive with that fifth set against Dominic Team with that 2009, 2019 French Open semi-final. And Team punished him and won that fifth set 7-5. I remember that match. So there you have the match that Jokic has lost on French Open the last couple of years against one single-handed backhands. And now he'll face a one single-handed backhand on Sunday. He knows this is a dangerous opponent. Uh, Titi Pass is in the shape of his life. He's young, 22 years old. Djokovic is 34 years old. Titi Pass is 12 years younger than Djokovic. Titi Pass is a, sh Titi Pass is a shot maker. He has one of the best forehands in the world. His serve plus forehand game is really superb. If Titi Pass lands a lot of first serves in, he can do a lot of damage. He landed, I believe, 68% first serves in against Zverev. Uh, and he won 75% behind those first serves in. And won 52% uh, behind second serves, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Titipas. So, uh, Titipas uh, wins a lot of points behind first serves and second serves. Because he does damage on the short rally battle between zero to four shots. And you know, guys, in tennis, 70% of the majority of tennis matches, if you win the short rally battle, you win the tennis matches. 70% of the, of, the, of the majority of the matches in tennis, if you win the short rally battle, you win the matches. And that is what Tsitsipas does often. No, majority of the times, he wins the short rally battle. He doesn't go into long exchanges because he knows if he goes, people will penetrate his back and, and in the end he will do an error uh, because Tsitsipas back is not su superior compared with his forehand. So Tsitsipas when he serves is he's deadly dangerous and no, Djokovic knows this. Uh, Tsitsipas is a similar player like Nadal so, so Djokovic will need to have great returns with great depth. He knows that. If he doesn't have great returns with great depth, Tsitsipas will punish him and he will attack him and he will finish the point before the point has been over four shots. He will finish the point. Serve, return from Djokovic, and bang! Tsitsipas will do a forehand winner. If not in the third shot, for sure in the fourth and for sure in the fifth. He will not let Djokovic take his teeth into Tsitsipas serving games with long exchanges because he knows if the rally goes over five shots, it is advantage Djokovic all time in the week, all days in the week, if the rally goes over five shots. So Tsitsipas' game plan will be clear. Serving, return from Djokovic and try to hit winners. If not winners, try to push Djokovic to the corners and make... Djokovic hit a short, attractive ball, and when he, and when Tsitsipas sees a short, attractive ball, when he pushes Djokovic to the corners and then try to finish off the point. So returns will be a big, big key for Djokovic to win. Deep returns. Another key for Djokovic is to hit or to try to attack Tsitsipas' backhand. Yeah, he knows that, and I know he will do that. I saw the match in, in Rome. Djokovic. He attacked, 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 and he pinned and pinned and pinned Tsitsipas backhand. He will do, he will do the same of, uh, on Sunday. He knows that. Tennis is not only on skill sets. It is a lot about skill sets, yes, but it is a lot of a game plan and mindset as well, and mentally as well. Who is strongest mentally? So the game plan for Djokovic is have a great returns with depth so, so Tsitsipas cannot hurt him on that third shot, third, fourth, or fifth shot. And to attack Tsitsipas' backhand. He will try to avoid Tsitsipas' forehand as much as possible. He will try to attack his backhand as much as possible. He will do some errors because when you when you play with, with when you play to attack one player's uh, weaker side, which is Tsitsipas' backhand side, you can you risk to take his, the balls out because you you're playing. To some to small corners, and you can do some errors. And so, so Djokovic will do some errors when he will when he tries to attack Tsitsipas' backhand. But he will try to have that game plan throughout the match because he knows that is the right game plan to be the winner on Sunday. So that is the second key. The third key for Djokovic is he needs to do a good job himself on the short rally battle. 
exactly like he did against Nadal yesterday. He did a great job on the short round of battle against Nadal in that semi in that semi final. He need to he needs to to he needs to do the same great of job like Titipas does. So T Djokovic needs to win a lot of points behind first serves and a lot of points behind second serves because that is what Titipas does to his opponent. He wins a lot of points behind first serves and second serves. And Djokovic also. He's a good, he's a good player of winning points, a lot of points behind first serves and second and second serves. Uh, so, I, I I think Djokovic won sixty five percent behind first serves against Nadal yesterday and fifty percent behind second serves against Nadal yesterday. So it's a good number. Uh, and Nadal is a great returner. Nadal doesn't hurt you immediately with his, with his returns, but he makes a lot of returns into the court because he stays seven, eight meters behind the baseline. So it is not easy acing Nadal. I think Djokovic did only six aces yesterday in, over, in four sets match. So it is not many aces because it is not easy. So Djokovic needs to serve really good with high percentage of first serves in. I believe he served 64% first serves in yesterday. Uh, it, is, it is good. Maybe 64, 64% will also be enough against the pass. Uh, and especially Djokovic needs to find the spots better than he did against Nadal. Because in my opinion, Djokovic did serve good against Nadal, but he still got broken six times. And he was not finding the, quite the spots really good, especially not the first three sets. Djokovic find his serve much better in the fourth set. And that's why he hold his serve in the fourth set so comfortably. Also with Nadal being gassed out and his tank was empty in the fourth set. Nadal was pretty much exhausted in the fourth set. I could see that. But Djokovic also was serving really good in the fourth set. Much better than he did in the first three sets. And was holding his serve pretty comfortably besides the game that he was broken. Uh, in, in the beginning of the in, in the beginning of that first of that uh, Early on, on, on in the fourth set, when he when he got broken. Besides in that game, he got broken in the first in, in in the fourth set. Besides that, Novak was holding his serve really comfortable against Nadal because he was serving really good in that fourth set. So Djokovic needs to serve in the same way like he did in that fourth set against Titipas. So Djokovic's keys are having great depth, so Titipas cannot attack him on the third, fourth, or fifth shot. Having uh, penetrating and attacking and pinning Tsitsipas backhand, so Tsitsipas cannot hit a lot of forehands because Tsitsipas loves hitting a lot of forehands. 78% of the time, at least over 75%, Tsitsipas hits forehand after he lands his serve, no matter if it is first or second serve. And J J Djokovic needs to serve good so he can finish off the points because we know Djokovic does, he lacks firepower. He cannot hit through players from the back of the court. He really cannot, guys, and he did, and he couldn't do that against Nadal either yesterday. The winners Djokovic did yesterday was when he was at the net, when he was when the balls were short. He was not doing winners from back of the court, Djokovic yesterday. He was not, guys. So he needs to have great serve with great spot serving, so Titipas can do short returns. So and then Titipas and then no Novak can put away the ball when the ball gets attractive, short on the court. So these are the keys for no Novak to win. Returning with depth, attacking Tsitsipas backhand, and serving good with great spot serving with high percentage of first serves in, so he can get, so he, so he can get attractive returns from, uh, uh, short attractive returns from Tsitsipas, so he can put away the ball. Novak Djokovic, three big elements to win the match. Tsitsipas elements to win the match, more same the same, more 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 away the same. He needs to serve good. He cannot give Novak Djokovic too much of a looks on second serves because Novak Djokovic is the greatest serve return of all time. So Tsitsipas needs to be over sixty five percent in landing first serves in over sixty five. I don't think it will be enough for Tsitsipas to win the final under sixty five percent. He needs to be over sixty five percent. He land he served pretty good against Zverev, but. Uh, he needs to serve even better. Zverev is a decent, good returner. Djokovic is of a bet. Djokovic is be even better returner than Zverev. Djokovic is the best returner in the business. Tsitsipas needs to be over 65% first serve seed. He needs to find the spots so he can get Novak. So Novak cannot do return with depth, if because even Tsitsipas, he is a shot maker. Tsitsipas, but he doesn't generate power from back of the court. Alan Nadal. Tsitsipas cannot hit winners from back of the court 
with his forehand like Nadal. Nadal has more firepower behind his forehand than Tsitsipas has. Tsitsipas has a great forehand, a gr great sh uh, big Morgan forehand with gr really great high net clearance over the net. So, but he needs short returns to be able to finish off the points because, of course, as shorter the return are, as easier it is to finish off the points. And if and if Tsitsipas gives Novak Djokovic a lot of second serves, that he will not get any short return from Novak. Then Novak will have great returns with great depth, and then Tsitsipas will be in trouble. That is the key. Tsitsipas needs to be serving really good with great high percentage of first serve seed and with great spot serving. The second key, Tsitsipas needs to protect his backhand. He knows seven out of ten ground strokes from Novak Djokovic racket will come to Tsitsipas' backhand. Tsitsipas needs to protect that backhand. He needs it. He doesn't hit the backhand as hard and as flat as, say, Vavrinka, Team, Federer. Tsitsipas have, or Ticinato, who have troubled, or uh, or Korschreiber, these five players who have defeated Novak Djokovic in the past at French Open. Tsitsipas doesn't hit the backhand as flat and as hard as these five players. He doesn't. Tsitsipas' backhand is much more, has much more net clearance and has much more top speed. It's a, it's a shot with big bigger margins than those five players that I mentioned. But so, but he has at least to try to have depth on his backhand. He cannot give Novak Djokovic backhand with sh short short backhand because if he gives Novak Djokovic short backhands, then Novak will attack that uh, uh, will attack and finish off the points. If not finish off the points, will make Tsitsipas uh, run left and right, left and right, and will dictate him and will, uh, in the end, win the points uh, by forcing Tsitsipas doing errors. So Tsitsipas need to hit his backhand with depth and with and cutting down his errors. He cannot do a lot of avasar with that shot. So a key for Tsitsipas to win the match is hitting his backhand really good. He needs to have a really great backhand day because he will hit a lot of those. That is the second thing. A third key is Tsitsipas need to return good. He really needs to return good. Uh, he has improved his returns tremendously, but against it, this, he will now will face the greatest returner of all time. Uh, so this will be a serve-return battle. Who will serve better? Who will return better? Tsitsipas maybe has slightly better serve than Djokovic. Maybe. Maybe. Because Djokovic has a pretty good serve as well. His serve is really underrated. So maybe Tsitsipas will win the serve serve battle. But when it comes to return battle, mm, I don't know if Tsitsipas will win that return battle. I think Djokovic has the upper hand there. Djokovic is a better return than Tsitsipas. So I think Djokovic will win the return battle. So jo Tsitsipas needs to match Djokovic on the return battle by returning with depth, by returning with uh, with accuracy, by returning with consistency. He cannot do two good returns and four bad returns. He needs to return consist consist consistently good throughout the match with great depth because if he has good depth on the returns, then we, he will have all chances in the world to win the point because Djokovic can, has that firepower like Nadal. He cannot hit through the court from back, from uh, be, uh, behind the baseline. He just cannot. He doesn't have that firepower, Djokovic. Djokovic's strengths are his flexibility, his consistency, his returns, his backhand, his mentality, his physicality. Firepower is not Novak Djokovic's strength as a tennis player. Let's let's be honest here. And they are playing on clay, so Djokovic will not get reward of the surface. It is not grass or hard court. So Djokovic will have troubles. Is it somewhere? Is it some? Is it in the court that Tsitsipas uh, has a chance against Djokovic? It is on a clay court uh, um, final, really. Because Djokovic will not uh, get help from the surface like he gets on uh, grass and on hard court. So Tsitsipas needs to hit his backhand really good. He needs to serve really good. And, hits, and he needs to return really good. And of course, he needs to try to do damage on the 0-4 to four shots like he's done throughout the tournament and try to hit a lot of winners when he lands his first serve or second serve and just to uh, put away the ball, which Tsitsipas can really do really good, especially with his forehand. So Tsitsipas will try, of course, to, to go around as many times as possible his forehand. He, that, he will try to do that. Tsitsipas will try to avoid hitting his backhand as much as possible. 
So there you have Titi Pass Kiss. Surly good, returny good, and hitting his backhand really good. Another, an, another key for Djokovic, I forgot to say, uh, is Djokovic cannot afford going in goalkeeper mode. If the match gets tight, he cannot afford because if he goes in the goalkeeper mode, Tsitsipas maybe will punish him like Vavrika did, like Team did, uh, like uh, especially Vavrika and Team uh, did in 2015 uh, French Open final, and like Team did in that 2019 semi-final French Open. When I consider all this, who will serve better? Who will return better? Uh, who will do a better match? Who will be do a more consistent match throughout the match? I can only think about one name. It is Novak Djokovic. I think, man, he will win. I think he will win. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think Novak will have a tough time on Sunday. But I think he will win. I think it is his destiny to win. I think he's on a mission to win. He knows that this is his one-time life opportunity. I don't, I don't think Novak will get a... A better chance to be a double digit, or to be a double time Grand Slam champion in all four majors. I don't think he's not getting any younger, and City Pass is only getting better and better and better. Will the fatigue be a, a factor on Sunday? Because Novak had a pretty long match, and, and, and his match was over very late at the night. Uh, maybe it will be, but Djokovic is a physical beast, so I don't think the fatigue will be an indicator. But I think we'll get a, a, tight, a tight final. I really think so. I think that Tite Pass has the tools to take down Djokovic. I really think so. But I don't think he will do it. I think Djokovic, he wins this. I think he wins. He will be so focused. He will. He wants this so badly. That's why he was not celebrating so crazy against Nadal. He, know, he knew that he has not won anything yet. He knew that a big challenge awaits for him on Sunday. Uh... I think Djokovic is a better player, is the more consistent player, is the more solid player in the end, and it will pay off by him being the winner. Uh, the, if Tsitsipas wins this final, it will be on if Djokovic goes in the goalkeeper mode like he did against Vavrika and and team in those in those matches in the past in French Open. Uh, that that is the way Tsitsipas can win if Djokovic helps Tsitsipas by going in that goalkeeper mode, and Djokovic can do that. He really can't, especially if this, this match gets tight and close and goes to a five. If this match goes to five sets and there are two, two, two sets all, that Djokovic can go in that goalkeeper mode in the fifth. And that Tsitsipas can be the winner. But I will pick Djokovic to win this. I, I will say he wins in four sets. Because if this goes to five, I'm not so sure that Djokovic wins. Um, because I've seen Djokovic get, getting really passive if the matches go to fifth. But Djokovic, of course, can go can win even if it, if it goes to five sets. He can win. Uh, he is the one of the greatest tennis players of all time. And if if he wins on Sunday, man, man, I will cement him as the greatest tennis player of all time. This is big stake on the court. It is a big stake match for Djokovic. His biggest match of his career. His biggest match of his career without any shadow of a doubt. So I don't know who will be more nervous. Both will be nervous. But who will be more nervous? Let's see. But I am picking Novak to win this one in four sets. It can go even five sets. I will not be shocked if, if it goes five. I really want, would not be shocked. I know that Tsitsipas will challenge Novak. Tsitsipas is a bet. Tsitsipas has a better serve than Rafa Nadal. Ra uh, uh, Djokovic breaks Rafa's serve eight times yesterday. I don't know if Djokovic will break Tsitsipas serve eight times. I'm doubtful about that. Tsitsipas protects his second serve better than Rafa Nadal. Ra uh, Rafa won only forty percent behind second serves yesterday. Tsitsipas will win probably more than forty percent behind his second serve. Probably, but you never know. Djokovic has the greatest r returns of all time. So I'm really looking forward to this. Tsitsipas can win his first ever major in his first ever Grand Slam final, and, Raf and Novak Djokovic can win his 19th Grand Slam title in his 29th Grand Slam final, and can win his second French Open title and be the only and be the third player ever of winning all the four major twice behind Rod Laver and Roy Emerson and now he can be the third of that and he knows, he knows he bloody well knows if he wins this final it will cement him as the greatest tennis player of all time and then the 
Wimbledon is just around the corner. And who is the man to beat in Wimbledon? Of course, Novak Djokovic. What is grass court tennis all about? It is about serving and it is about returning. And Djokovic's return is the best in the business. And his serve is top five in the world. He has a very underrated serve, Novak Djokovic. So, Novak knows that and he knows he has a tough challenge ahead of him. He knows. He really bloody well knows this. But I think Novak will be ready. I think Novak will be consistent. We will be solid. We will be focused. Composed. You name it. I am picking Novak to win this in four sets. Uh, and let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Let the man, let the best man, let the best player win. I hope you enjoyed this, this, three, five, this three, five minutes long preview French Open final video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.